till now we have seen that uh, AWS uh, is the uh, top first uh, cloud provider, okay? Uh, and after that, uh, Azure is here, after that, Google Cloud Platform, Adobe Cloud, all these are. So as AWS is being used widely, uh, that's why we are, uh, one of the reason is, uh, that's why, uh, this is one of the reason uh, we are convinced to learn AWS, okay? On top of that, I have uh, maybe shown you seven points, uh, what are the benefits of using AWS, okay? So for using AWS, your first thing will be to make one account uh, using AWS, okay? Then you have to go for aws.amazon.com slash console, okay? And then you have to put one enter over here. After that, there will be one option and that option will be create an AWS account, okay? Directly go here on this and click it. Create an AWS account. It is processing, okay? Now after it, what you will get? A root user email address, okay? Uh, put your email address over here, okay? And then after that, uh, put your AWS account name over here then click on verify email address okay then you will verify the email address and what what will happen over here is you have to go back to this mail and there you will get one otp okay so from there if you will get one otp over here okay? then this is the otp which i got i'll put this otp over here okay then you have to verify it verify this otp is only valid, valid for 10 minutes okay then you have to do it first okay then uh, here you have to type root user password okay then uh, your root user password, I'm putting some password over here. Okay. Then, uh, then I put some password over here. And from here, it is not allowing me to go forward. But anyhow, I will suggest you or I will guide you what will be the next uh, step, okay? Um, <clears throat> AWS account name can be changed, okay? That can be changed when you get into your AWS account. Now after that, what uh, uh, as I'm not able to proceed further, then I will show you over here uh, what will happen after that, okay? So after this, if you will uh, uh, click on continue, there are five more steps as you can see, step one of five, okay? Then what will happen, I will show you. If you will uh, uh, press on continue step one of five, then after that, what you will get, you will get this kind of, uh, maybe this kind of, uh, let me change this color over here and this, uh, you will find up like this, okay? Uh, here will be written sign up for AWS, okay? And this will be written sign up for AWS. And after that, what you have to do, there will be a question, how do you plan to use AWS? Then you can uh, check personal uses, okay? Uh, per personal for your own projects kind of thing, you can choose that option. After that, who should we contact about the account? Uh, there will be a full name, uh, full name, okay? Then you have to write your full name. You have to write uh, your full name over here, okay? After that, there will be a phone number section okay there will be a phone number section you have to put your phone number over here okay and after that uh, if uh, you will go any further there will be a country or region okay country or region that will be a drop down okay in country and region you need to choose india okay then after that there will be address you have to put your address over here okay there will be address field you have to uh, fill this address field after that there will be city option you have to fill this city in which city you are living right now after the city option you will get a uh, state option which you have to fill in which state you are living okay then you have to fill this option too then after this you will get uh, maybe a postal code uh, that will be your state postal code and you have to uh, maybe write there uh, postal code okay this will be a postal code that's the thing so then there will be a uh, checking mark okay uh, like kind of i have read all the agreements kind of thing there will be so you have to take it okay and after that there will be option continue there will be this will be the ultimate option to get to the next page okay so it will be it uh, it will show you like this like this and there will be written continue continue and that will be second uh, of fifth okay so then you have to put uh, then you have to click then you have to click this continue okay that's the thing in the next page it will ask for your billing information okay so after after going with to continue in the next page it will ask for your billing information okay that that will be billing information okay that will be billing, billing information so in billing information first thing will be credit or debit card number okay so you have to put your credit or debit card number then after what you have to do is you have to put their expiration date expiration date here you have to put after that, the year you have to put over here, okay? And the month will be here and year will be here. Year of expiration date will look like this. Then there will be card holder holder name. Card 
holder name okay then you have to write here the card holder name okay then after that you have to write here cvv of your card okay and after that then uh, you have to you will get the here two in uh, two option that is billing address okay in billing address either you can use my contact address option or you can use uh, new address okay you can check anyone uh, then they will ask do you have a pen card based on uh, if you have you can write there yes and you can maybe go further okay after that uh, if you will say yes you have a debit card or uh, you have a pen card uh, you will say yes then you have to put here your pen card number after that what will happen is you have to continue okay then again there will be a continue then again will there will be a continue button okay and this continue button uh, will be step 3 of 5 that will be step 3 of 5 okay that will be step 3 of 5 here in this option if you will continue it will maybe charge you 2 rupee or 1 rupee based on your location and it will verify that the account you have uh, like given to the AWS for registration is not a fake account okay yeah. and then OTP will be sent to you and everything will happen that you can see that you can manage by yourself and then after this you will be coming to the step number 4 okay and step number 4 what we will be getting is uh, here you have to confirm your identity then for confirming your identity they will ask you to uh, maybe have a text message okay text message or maybe a voice call okay and uh, then they will ask you the country code okay the country or the region code code country or region code you have to uh, it will be a drop down you have to choose for india okay i then after that uh, you have to put a mobile number over here you have to put a mobile number they will ask for your cell phone number here okay then you put your cell phone number over here then there will be a capture you have to maybe fill this capture and then you have to again uh, there will be one more option that will be continue for uh, then it will be option for send sms okay that will be option for send sms and this send sms will be step number four of five now you have done maybe four steps okay so in the fifth page aws will tell you that yes you have registered for their free tier and now in any time you can register for maybe other other kind of tier you want to use okay and after that you can go for continue and you can uh, continue the process okay and that's the thing here you can after this uh, there will be option go to aws management console you can directly click on that okay and then you will be transferred to aws uh, console now you are a registered user in aws so now that you have uh, built your account in the next video we will make something on aws okay that something will be uh, maybe that will i will not tell you right now you can see that on the next video okay and that's for this is all for this video